You thought you aged only on your face? Wait till you reach your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and you will start believing that things change pretty rapidly around 35 or for some people around 40s or 50s and you will notice that it's not just your face that starts to show very rapid changes in aging. The gravity becomes your enemy overnight. Sometimes you can wake up next morning and swear that you did not have that wrinkle yesterday but now it is there. With all the money that you can spend on your facial creams and lotions and serums, I still see a lot of people who completely ignore their faces below their chin. This is also part of your face. It is a part of your appearance. When people see you, they don't just notice this part of your face. Everything that's visible, including your hands, neck, chest. And frankly, I believe it's not for others, but even for your own self-confidence, knowing that you're doing something wrong that's aging you faster than you should and you can control it is pretty empowering. I'm Parmita Katkar and I am your face yoga coach. And today I'm going to help you anti-age your neck because a lot of people reach out to me with this question about how do I control my neck aging, my neck folds, my turkey neck, my loose skin, my double chin, my heaviness. Everyone ages differently around your neck neck everyone has a different reason people who are plus size or overweight have a completely different reason to age around their neck people who are athletes or skinny or have low fat percentage in their body again age very differently around their neck frankly i took control of my facial aging and neck and body and everything in time with face yoga face exercises facial massage techniques and a lot of changes to my skincare routine and i shared just that in my customized one-on-one -on -one face yoga classes but today i want to take you through three quick steps that's a tongue twister <laughs> that can help you anti-age your neck number one warm up number two facial massages and number three exercising your neck muscles so let's begin with the warm up exercise number one to warm up your neck muscles tilt your head to the right or left Whatever amount you can stretch, just stretch half of that. So this is not what I want. This is all I want. So think of it as if you have an elastic band. If you overstretch it multiple times, it is going to snap. It's actually going to lose its elasticity. So do not overstretch. So sit in a proper posture, stretch to the side, slowly start going back. Wherever I'm touching my finger, that is the area where your muscles are stretching. So do this for about five to six times on each side and if you hear a little crack when you go up you don't have to overstretch it like I said you don't have to overstretch it anyway so literally just go from here to here and keep this very slow I can see my videographer doing it too right <laughs> does it help yeah. So keep watching me on the other side of the screen and continue to do this for at least five to six times. But on a funny note, most of my clients, when I do my group workshops or one-on-one -on -one sessions, people start with this position. But if you get lost, if your mind is not into the exercise, this is what they land up doing. I never said chin to the shoulder, I said ear to the shoulder. So about five to six times. Exercise number two. Notice this exercise is stretching multiple different muscle groups all the way from your double chin because in the long run, when you start developing double chin, now imagine that weight is falling onto the weak neck muscles and what happens, it's like a bed sheet. When you compress it from one side, you start seeing the folds a little bit ahead. So if this heaviness continues to become heavier, you will start seeing more folds on your neck. So it is important to start strengthening the neck muscles in different areas and not just the specific area where you start noticing the turkey neck. There are multiple different muscle groups involved in keeping your whole neck area and your double chin tight and taut and lifted and firm. Notice you might have seen it all across social media or on multiple different channels where people do this. Again, overstretching, avoid it. All you need to do is just take 50% of the intensity. You don't want to overstretch it. And all I'm doing is pulling my chin forward and back along with your whole jaw. So watch this. I won't be speaking while I do this, but you can see wherever I touch, those are the muscle groups that are activated when I'm doing this.
So perform this exercise for about 15 to 20 counts. Do not overdo it just by doing it 50 times or 100 times. You're not going to reap faster benefits. Go easy if you're a beginner. I would suggest to start with 10 to 15 only. And another important thing, do not repeat the same exercise every day. Again, if you want to understand how to perform facial exercises the right way, in the right sequence, in the right order, and how they can be designed specifically for your facial aging concerns, I think one-on-one -on -one customized face yoga training is the best way to work with me. But otherwise, follow my instructions to the T when I'm speaking because I know sometimes people can be in a rush and they just want to see the exercise and not listen to how it needs to be done and what should not be done. Both are very important. Before I give you my tip number two, I have a question for you. How many of you actually invest time and buy the right products when you want to take better care of your neck or your chest area? It is only obvious that if you're aging on your face, then you're aging on other parts of your body too. So if I use my City Beauty's Uplifting Firming Serum on my face, then I use the same on my neck as well. So for the massage routine, I'm going to be using the serum and the multi-action sculpting cream, which is designed for neck and chest, but I have used it on my face and it works amazingly well. I highly recommend that you invest in these products because these have shown a great improvement, not just on my face, but also on my neck, my chest, and also my cuticles and hands. And I found all of these products on my favorite shopping app. It's called Mabely. I will be sure to link these products in the description below. Maybelline is an app where I find a lot of brands that I don't come across otherwise in Sephora or all these advertised malls and magazines. And even if I do, I actually find better deals on this app. So do check it out. This is not a sponsored content. It's just an app that I enjoy shopping at and this is where you'll find all my favorite products too. So do check it out. Stay with me because I'm going to be showing you three different kinds of massage techniques for your neck. Now, there are going to be different kinds of strokes. So first, with the downward strokes, I'm going to be draining out the toxins that are accumulated so that this can clear the pathway for blood circulation and oxygen to flow upward. Tap, 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 tap. So do this for about 30 seconds. And once the serum is absorbed into my skin, I'm going to use the multi-sculpting cream. Notice that this is a super luxurious, rich cream, but it does not get greasy and you need very, very little. I'm still going to continue tapping. But before the product is completely absorbed in my skin, continue doing this. So hold the back of your neck, like almost stretch it out. And then you're going to massage those wrinkles that you notice on your neck, those folds inside the reason i massage inwards versus doing this which is how you might have normally seen a lot of people massage their neck absolutely no no because notice anywhere on your face or neck wherever a wrinkle starts to develop it is the deepest at its source be it your nasolabial fold your crow's feet your neck they're the deepest here as they go out they start to lighten up now if you push them in that direction, they're only going to continue getting deeper. Like if you have wrinkles on the eyes, if you pull them down, they'll only droop your eyes more and also create a deeper wrinkle. If you have a deep wrinkle around your nasolabial fold, if you massage it down, it's not gonna work. You work upwards, right? You work it outwards. Same way when it comes to your neck, you're going to push this back. So you're not pulling and tugging your skin and getting wrinkles in new places. Hold it tight. Pull this back in, in. Again, about five to six strokes is all you need. And then change the side. For all those people who think that Botox or invasive procedures are their best bet to anti-age anything in their face, give face yoga a shot. Just about a minute or two on your neck muscles every day is enough for you to anti-age your neck, your chest, all your wrinkles and turkey neck signs. After you perform the inward massage for about five to 10 times on each side, Hold your jawline between your fingers, lift up. Now you start working on the deeper wrinkles right in the middle. So it's like you brought this in, you brought this in, now you bring this up, 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 and out. And continue to sculpt your whole jawline, right? That facial fat that starts to accumulate around the jowls, you are going to sculpt all of that do not let that go down slowly and deepen those wrinkles on your neck and please include some fat in your food a lot of people who are on a low fat diet will notice that 
their skin wrinkles very fast because the fat in your skin depletes and the lesser fat you have, the faster your face can start to look more haggard and sagging. Bad news. So again, these were about anywhere between 8 to 10 strokes is all you need. For all those who are watching this video right now and if you're tempted to try these exercises or massages without any skincare product, I would say absolutely no no to it. Make sure you grab some kind of face oil or skin moisturizer or serum before you massage or exercise. You do not want to play around with that elasticity in your skin. Any product that gives you a little glide please use it before you do anything that I've shown in today's video. And now we are down to our step three, which is exercising your neck muscles. So when I perform this exercise, you will notice not just my neck muscles, my double chin, my lower neck, but also all the way in my shoulders and my chest. Everything that is responding to gravity can be lifted and pushed up. I mean, think about it. If exercising works for your whole body, if it keeps it taut, it keeps it tight, it keeps it firm, then the same thing can happen to any part of your face, your neck, your chest. So let's do it. Okay, I'll do it at an angle first. Chin slightly down and tighten and release. Now let me turn forward. I'm going to keep my fingers here. Wherever you see my fingers, all those muscles are activated. So all those ladies who are noticing creppiness around their chest, try this. Keeping fingers on your chest and your neck is not a part of the exercise. I'm just showing you all the muscles that are activated in these areas. Now let me lift up the chin to show you exactly what's going on in this area. You are tightening and firming up the muscles from within, all the way from right around this area, around your chin, going down to your neck and all of these parts. So this is what happens. You're using the muscles from within here. So when your chin is slightly tilted down, you will notice a lot more muscle groups engaged in this exercise. So instead of keeping your chin forward, when you keep your chin slightly tilted down, you will notice a lot more muscle groups engaged at the same time. So literally one exercise can work on multiple parts, including your chin, your neck, your chest, your shoulder area, your collarbones and all of that. Do not perform this exercise for more than 10 to 15 counts. You may get very excited when you start feeling all these muscles engaged. But remember, if you're a beginner, the next day you will start to feel a lot of stiffness in your neck. So don't overdo it. But the good thing about feeling a little bit of stiffness the next day is you can start to understand which side of your neck is actually stronger. Even by the time you finish your 15 repetitions, you will notice on one side, you can probably do it a lot more easily and the other side almost gives up and there is very little movement or no movement. Now this is where my facial symmetry package can help because I first help you understand which part of your face is stronger and this is also a good way to predict how you're going to age or how your facial symmetry will change depending on which side of your face or which particular feature in your face is stronger. So for example, if you do this exercise and you feel that one side is stronger than the other, you need different kind of exercise or you need to focus a little bit more on the weaker side of your neck. Now, when it comes to your face, you will notice that certain exercises are easily doable on one side of your lips versus the other side and your eyes or forehead. And the same thing applies to your whole face. Understanding your facial strength or weakness is a great asset. It's a great learning experience and this also helps you not only predict but also control how you're going to age. Sometimes just lack of knowledge of what are the right skincare products for me, what are the right facial exercises for me, what could be the simple home remedies that I can include in my everyday skincare routine, what happens if I don't use a sunscreen, how that can rapidly age your face. Now these are some of the things that either some people don't know or some people completely ignore or some people want to learn so that they can age better. And if you are the third one in this category, then this platform is just for you. Please hit the subscribe button to my channel. It is Blush With Me Parmita and welcome to my channel and my Blush With Me family. My facial symmetry package along with my eye package, my forehead package, my mouth rejuvenation package, all of these are linked below in my description. I also have a subscription platform that I highly encourage my supporters to join. Please hit the like button and share this video with your friends, with your mom, with anyone who's experiencing neck aging. 
and don't forget to catch up on all my other face yoga videos and my self improvement videos i am your face yoga coach and your impression management image coach parmita katkar i will see you next week until then blush with me